Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Bellonia's Creativity. So in today's video, I would like to share with you my experiences regarding this year's Inktober. Now I would like to uh, say that this year's was my very first attempt at Inktober and I'm very happy to say that I successfully completed it. Like every single day of October I did one drawing following the official prompt list that is released in the month of September in the official Inktober Instagram page. Uh, so uh, let's get started into it. So first of all is uh, what the paper I used is like it's not an art paper it's uh, just a simple like A4 sheet printing paper like a normal quality one that we get in the local store so that paper like A4 sheet, uh, sheet is like um, uh, larger in size so what I did is I folded each of them into half so my each drawing is on half size of that of an A4 sheet okay uh, so yeah uh, let's get into it so first is I have decorated my cover like I have used the uh, official Inktober emblem that it looks like and I have added the year below. Now as per the materials I have used like I have not used uh, like only black and white like first I thought that I would be doing only black and white drawings but uh, then what happened is as I went on with my drawings I realized that I cannot do without colors I love colors so I have to put some kind of colors into my work so what I did is I used um, like the uh, Pigma microns for the outliners uh, this one like I have this set which I got from Amazon so these are amazing for ink works and like um, they are very much waterproof and smudge proof so I like using them so I have this um, uh, set of uh, Pigma microns and uh, the next uh, one that I used are the brush pens now these brush pens are I really like these brush pens so these uh, brush pens are like the Camlin uh, Kokyo brush pens so these brush pens are like they give a watercolor kind of effect like what i do is i put each of the colors uh, like um, i uh, put the uh, colors into a plastic palette or maybe any kind of palette and then with the brush and water i use uh, that one so like uh, putting my brush in water and then use it like a watercolor so what happens is the color is that of this brush pen only so this way this uh, light effects like this um, very light watercolory effects are possible uh, so I used uh, brush pens mostly so I have a 24 set pack of this uh, Camlin Kokyo brush pens and really I just swear by them as I go on showing you my drawings I'll explain like wherever I have used the brush pens like they are simply amazing they are so pigmented and they are so much affordable uh, I would link down in the description box like where the link of where I got them so these are my two materials that I mainly used for my Inktober series so let's get into the drawings so the first prompt was fish now uh, with fish uh, what I did is I thought I would keep everything very simple now this was a drawing where I wasn't sure like I'll be using colors so this one I kept it strictly black and white and uh, this uh, background is with a blue dot pen like a simple pen nothing extra in that 
so i did a couple of koi fish um like in an yin yang style so as you can see here it's uh, black and here it's white whereas here the body is white and it's black so yeah this was my idea i did a bunch of koi fish in yin yang style like um, i saw many artists doing yin yang style of koi fish so i did it in my style adding little uh, water elements like these are something that depicts the uh, water elements now uh, moving on the next one was the next prompt was wisp so i was not sure what to do what to do in this so what i did is i drew a wisp of smoke okay so this is like a genie kind of an effect i tried to give like this is a jar from which wisp of smoke smoke is coming out and a lady is actually rising from within the wisp of smoke so this was uh, my idea and uh, this element is a glowing moon so the idea was when the moon glowed every night she rose within the wisp of smoke so moving on to day 3 the prompt was uh, bulky so in this one i actually did an illustration of um, the famous movie bahubali uh, the iconic scene where he lifted the shivling so yeah so again in these like i used the minimal of colors so like uh, these all things are done with the pigma microns and um, here it's the blue dot pen with a bit of that uh, blue uh, uh, brush pen and uh, the skin effects are done with the uh, brush pens so yeah this was my day 3 uh, so day 4 was a uh, radio now uh, this is like i did an illustration of an um, retro uh, radio which is basically the first ever radio ever invented so this is a gec valve radio okay so like um, it's a very uh like uh, it's the first ever radio that was ever invented or made and um like the and um i personally just love re- listening to radio mirchi so what i did is i used the official radio mirchi emblem and added some red chilies for the effect so and yes this piece i went overboard with the colors um and uh, like these all the coloring effect that you see are done with brush pens and uh, the rest is uh, the pigma microns so that was uh, my drawing for the prompt of radio now the next one was blade now what when i first heard the word blade the first thing that came into my mind was the movie that we once watched like i once watched as a kid uh, blade Uh, like there was a um, superhero kind of a movie so where this person used to slay vampires okay like he was a vampire himself but uh, he used to kill all the bad vampires or the other vampires that um, threaten humanity so i think that was a marvel movie uh, like it was like i used to watch it as a kid like it was a series like blade one then blade trinity like that um now here i'm going to show you like why i just love using brush pens now this background effect this vibrant like smooth background effect like i don't think it is possible in any other medium other than acrylics of course but this brush pen completely helped me with like giving this effect like a smooth coloring effect with no brush marks at all so that's why i really love uh, using the brush pens especially the scamlin kokio ones they are very affordable and i just love using them the next prompt 
was rodent and uh, again i had fun doing it because here also i did one like nostalgic uh, movie stuart little so i did an illustration of uh, stuart little like it was a tiny little white mouse and yeah and he owned a red car uh so yeah and he used to wear tiny sweaters so this was my entry for rodent now for a closer look all the coloring parts as usual are done with brush pens and since these as you can see these are very lighter effects so these are done with that putting the brush pen on a palette first and then dipping my brush in water and then diluting that and then doing this effect so yeah that was it then it's a uh, fancy so yeah uh, with fancy the first thing that came to my mind was a fancy dress competition so like and now since it's 2020 the pandemic is going on so i drew a kid who is dressed as a detol hand wash okay so yeah i used some references okay so uh, like some of in some of my drawings i use references in some of them i mixed and matched multiple references and some i drew randomly okay so yeah and yes like these drawings were done on one single day like none of them were taken much time so as you can see this the face actually is not very accurate it doesn't look like a kid at all so yeah this uh, was my entry for the prompt fancy and um, yeah and i hardly spent one hour or two hour max for them like i used to sketch uh, the night before and then uh, during the day i used to color them up like doing some other work so yeah that's how i completed it okay now the next one was teeth now i actually wanted to do only like this is a cheshire cat like um if you are into fantasy and if you have watched alice in wonderland then you know like what a cheshire cat is it's a fantasy character and the cat is very like um interesting looking like it has got multiple colors and it always glows in the dark so first i only wanted to do the eyes and the teeth like the glowing teeth and the broad smile was what i aimed for but uh, then i got carried away and i colored it up entirely and i love this one like i love how this vibrancy looks like i really love how it turned out maybe later on like if i just take a good photograph of this and print it out and make it into a large poster like it's going to look very nice on a big wall so uh maybe later on i will be doing that so the next one is throw so over here i drew a trebuchet so uh, it's again something that is used in wars uh like uh, ancient war especially in greek mythology and also if you have played like age of empires then you know what a trebuchet is um so yeah i tried doing a trebuchet for throw like it is throwing something okay so yeah um and yes everything is done with pigma microns and um uh like um, brush pens so yep and yeah for this i used a google reference so yep this is uh, for the prompt throw the next one was hope the next prompt was hope now i don't think that i need to explain this because this is what the entire world is hoping for currently is a vaccine for the corona virus so yeah like i drew uh, like a doctor specially giving a, a vaccine to uh, a corona virus and the virus is actually cracking up so like it's breaking up the virus 
so yeah that's uh, my idea like uh, for the prompt of hope and yeah i like doing this colorful one like i really love putting in colors so i know inktober is uh, not exactly meant for colors like i don't know but uh, i think i really love it like how this pigma microns like outlining everything with pigma microns and then filling them up with colors it uh, it really helps me like i i really love the effect how it is so yes this is the one okay so uh, the next one was uh, disgusting so this is something that um, entirely came from my mind like no reference picture was used in this so this the prompt was disgusting and uh, the idea was like a finger martini with some human teeth and uh, it's a bowl of uh, eyeball and warm soup that everything is alive you can see the worms are poking out of it and again this vibrant background is done with brush pen so you know right how i just love this effect like this vibrant background is i really like this is something i discovered during inktober because before the inktober series like i never used brush pen so much but now i just really swear by them and i just love how it affects okay so yeah so this is a human hand again so this is basically cannibalism like eating a finger uh, like drinking a finger martini and uh, having some eyeball and warm soup so yeah that uh, was for the prompt disgusting uh next up is uh slippery slippery so for this actually you have seen like uh, kids uh, sliding down from uh, like in a park from a slide that is also slip so for this prompt what i did is like the birds penguins they cannot fly but this show can uh, like slide down slippery ice so yeah that uh, was what i did for the prompt uh, slippery and I really enjoyed doing this one because this had got very minimal details yet it looks so like it looks so uh, like um, put together like it's like I really love how this looks like it's simple yet it looks so beautiful so yeah this is like one of my favorites one okay so the next prom is dune so who says like a dune has to be that uh, what we see in a desert like um, my idea over here was a planet uh, like a candy planet where there are candy dunes okay so these are all the candy dunes these are like i tried to do the orange candies which i just loved them as a kid um i think we still get them but uh, i think uh, i don't eat uh, like have them now so yeah and uh, these are some candies as well and uh, the moon is like i try to do a lollipop moon like a, a strawberry flavor lollipop moon and it rains chocolate in this planet so yeah that's uh, for the prompt dune next up is armor so here i did a greek armor like i uh, didn't have much time to think about it and i couldn't think much creative idea so what i did is i used a couple of reference of some armors and and i put them together like i did this effect where the skin is not showing like only the armor adjusted in such a such a position like that it it looks like um, actually someone is wearing it so yeah and so i like this one this uh, for armor and again the background effect is like i really love them do let me know in the comment section like if you like them or not like 
this background is something which uh, I really love doing so and also you can suggest me ways of using brush pens because this these are some of the techniques that I discovered during Inktober uh, let me know how else I can use the brush pens because I really don't use brush pens that much only in this Inktober series I've used them so do let me know the next is uh, next uh, prompt was outpost and I just love this one okay so for this prompt actually the inspiration came from Van Gogh's or Van Gogh's starry night the starry night yes so I think there was a tree that I turned into an outpost this is supposed to be an alien planet as you can see the earth is up there and these are some of the planets so the aliens through a telescope is looking at us okay so this is supposed to be an like this is in my idea is an alien outpost and it's uh, looking at us and it's keeping an eye on all the other planets and uh, yeah, and these effects are as usual it's taking from the inspiration is taken from the starry night the iconic painting of the starry night so I really loved it so I love this one yeah. the next prompt is rocket and again something from the movie so this little buddy here is from the gardens of the galaxy it is the raccoon rocket so nah, I really love this character so uh, it, it has got a fun element in this uh, drawing because I like to call it rocket with the rocket launcher waiting to board his own rocket okay so it's like uh, I like this one yeah and this background all these things are with brush pens and the furry effect and this uh, rocket launcher is done with the uh, microns and yeah so this was for the prompt rocket uh, next one is storm so here I thought like I uh, know many characters of storm like um, there is uh, the recent uh, series the boys has got a storm front character then um, uh, the x-men has storm but uh, then I went back into Greek mythology and I drew Zeus the god of thunder basically so yeah so this is Zeus holding thunder and creating the storm effect Okay, so yeah, the wrath, behold the wrath of Zeus. So the next one is trap. Now, the moment I heard the word trap, it's like the thing that always comes to my mind is the trap of the society, like falling into the society trap so uh, yeah so that's what i tried to depict in this picture so it has got multiple elements like this uh, one has like it it's blind it it's just it's blind it cannot see any reason but it's crying because it has fallen into the society trap and so that's why it's crying but it cannot even speak because its lips are stitched by the society itself so and and its mind is a cage so this this is the cage boundary so it's like getting married then having kid then uh, buying houses and cars then having a steady job then earning money then uh, of taking care of old parents and then hospitals and this one is school and uh, this is um, mm, like uh, this is an hourglass so like time is running out like for this poor poor person like he has to maintain all this like he has to do all these things at perfect time else like society will not be accepting him or her okay so yeah that's it and it's like outside the case there is a colorful world like um, 
there is an artist who wants to paint there is a singer who always wants to sing there is a traveler who wishes to travel to the northern lights and yeah and the birds depict that free will like it de- uh, he wants to be free like free of his choices and whatever he wants to do and also he loves to read like he loves to explore and he just wants to uh, spend his time reading and this infinity is what contradicts this uh, hourglass so this infinity means like he doesn't have to worry about time so he has all the time in the world and he can do whatever he feels like so and escaping like that's outside the trap but th- his head is inside the cage and it is already trapped so this is a very deep idea but uh, Uh, I know it's uh, like very abstract but uh, I just wanted to put in all the ideas that I have into this one. So yeah, that was what I did for the prompt trap. Okay, so the next one is Dizzy. Now for this one, the first thing that came to my mind and that's honestly the first thing that came to my mind was this bump. Like as a kid when I used to watch uh, like all these Looney Tunes and this Tom and Jerry shows like what happened is whenever someone got hit on the head like this bump would just start growing up like this like the animation was so awesome like it growed up and um, that's uh, what I did like Jerry is hitting Tom and it's making him dizzy and this bump is growing out of his head. So this was for the prom dizzy. Next is uh, Coral, Uh, this one I couldn't think of anything else so I just drew normal coral in abstract form. I tried putting in all the colors that we could find and some colorful rainbow fish as well. So yeah. Okay so the next prompt is Sleep. Now this one has again a very interesting story. If you are a Bengali, you must have read Thakumar Juli or the grandmother's tales as a kid and this is an illustration from that actually. This is one of the story illustration from that. So uh, like there is a princess who is forcefully made to sleep by a group of demons. Okay. So what the demons do is they have put her on a special type of a bed uh, of which one side is made of silver and the other side is made of gold. So how they put her to sleep is like they put a silver stick on the gold side and a gold stick on the silver side. So when the stick are put at this position she sleeps. Now to wake her up what one has to do is like uh, put this gold stick into the gold side and the silver into the silver side. So then she would uh, be awakened. So the story name is Shonar Kathi Rupur Kathi. So it's like the golden stick and silver stick. So yeah that's this is an illustration of that story which I did for the prompt of sleep. Moving ahead, the next prompt is uh, chef. So for this also like nothing else came to my mind and I used my idea like that I did for the uh, prompt of armor like doing the uh, chef uh, in that format just that here I have drawn the hand. And uh, the idea was by chef, what always comes to our mind is the hat, like the chef hat. But uh, what I feel is and what I discovered by watching Master Chef and all that is that the apron is equally important to them. Like this apron is like a pride. Okay, like hat is fine but along with the hat the apron is is what signifies them so that's that was my idea for the prompt shave next uh, was next prompt was rip now or rip i don't know actually 
but I took it as rip because RIP means rest in peace which I didn't want to do because um, I I did it as rip and I like it this is a very fragile paper uh, where one side is a heart and one side is a brain and there are unknown hands tearing them apart or like ripping them apart so there is a constant conflict between the heart and the mind and uh, so yeah and unknown hands are ripping them apart so that's uh, that was my idea for the prompt of rip the next one was dig uh, so yeah <laughs> so dig doesn't always mean that you have to dig the ground or dig uh, any like uh, dig the earth um, so I decided that you also dig your nose right like some people do and it's very disgusting but uh, yeah you do dig your nose so that uh, what that's what I tried to do uh, but I know this is like way of proportions I know this doesn't look even look like an actual human being I didn't have much time for this and uh, the thing is I did not want to recreate it so whatever um, came to my mind I just did it I just made a rough illustration of a person digging his nose so yeah that's it so next is buddy and yeah by buddy the only thing that comes to my mind is a pet dog and yes I did have a dog for 15 years and uh, I literally grew up uh, with him then he passed away in 2015 so and I still remember him like I cannot forget him because he was an important part of my childhood so and uh, like for this I used my own hand actually so I kept my hand like this and I clicked a photograph and then from that I drew the hand and this is my buddy's paw so yeah that's what I did for the prompt of buddy so the next prompt was hide and uh, this one I literally had no time because the festive season was on in uh, Kolkata and I just had to like find an hour to do it so at night I just simply whatever just came to my mind I just did it so like this is a very bad person hiding behind curtains and keeping an eye on you so you must be very careful not only should you check your under the bed but you should also check behind the curtains so that's the idea the next prompt is music so for music what comes to my mind is the song of the birds so and also the song of the waterfalls so and mountains oh i so miss traveling so yeah that's the idea behind this the next prompt was float with float the first thing that came to my mind are bubbles and i just wanted to put someone or something inside bubbles and i just wanted to make them float so what came to my mind is how about uh, like instead of putting the angry birds in catapults like uh, like stringing them up in a catapults and allowing them to swing up how about we float them through the bubbles i think if we where to float them through the bubbles then they would be happy birds and not really angry birds so yeah that was my idea for the prompt float the next one was shoe now for this one what I did is I did an illustration of an iconic Bengali movie the Gupi Gain Bagha Bain and this was done by the, the, move, the film was made by Sat, the great Satyajit Ray and this was again a part of my childhood so uh, let me explain to, to all those who don't know about it it's like there was a the king of ghosts like 
this is bagha who used to play the dhol and this is uh, gopi like who wanted to sing but he was very bad at singing and since he was very bad at singing so both of them were and he wanted to play the dhol but he was not good at it so both of them were kicked out of their village so and they were resting in a jungle and um, at night the king of ghosts visits them so the king of ghosts grants them three boons out of them one was they could eat whatever they want okay so um, they just have to say like they want to eat so and so and just they have to do an high five so the food would instantly appear in front of them the next boon was when they would sing and he would play the dhol everybody would be awestruck like no one would be able to move a muscle when they would sing so this was the second one and the third one was he granted them with special shoes so with the shoes they could travel anywhere they want so they just have to clap their hands and say that i want to go here or i want to go there and immediately they would be transported to that region so this is a very abstract and rough illustration of that so with the prompt shoe i try to do this one the third boon that the king of ghosts gave them i wanted to do that so the second last prompt was ominous now for this ominous i thought of many things but then what came to my mind is a cracked mirror um so there there is a saying like i heard it from my mother like you are not supposed to see yourself in a cracked mirror like if your mirror breaks you sh- you should immediately discard it off like it is it is thought as a very bad omen to see yourself in a cracked mirror so that's why i drew a cracked mirror and this girl is looking into the cracked mirror but she is seeing a demon okay and these are some of the protective symbols that are put behind the mirror so the idea was the mirror was broken for a reason she shouldn't have put it back together okay so that's uh, the idea next up is crawl and since it was the 31st of october i kept in mind the halloween time and i drew a demon trying like crawling on the wall and its head is actually turned 360 degree towards the back i know this hand and the feet are bit off like they are not on point like it's not actually looking like they are climbing up the wall but again i didn't have much time in this so i just did what i felt like okay so maybe later if i feel like i might create uh, these things like i might create in a proper way all these drawings that i did or maybe some of them which i love to do so yeah that's how i did my october and um, so as for some tips if you want like um, me personally i started in the last week of september so they release their official prompt by the 1st of september so you can put your ideas into uh, papers and you can then paint them throughout or maybe like if you are using only ink like ink them out uh, throughout uh, the month of october but uh, what i did is i started a bit early like i started uh, i did not uh, have like make any ideas beforehand um i started a week before october started like by the end of uh, september i actually started but still towards the end i was like i didn't have any buffer day i had to do then and there so yeah it's a lot of commitment but what i learned is like 
it it expands your art skills like me personally i um, always did reference paintings and um, it was uh, very seldom of me that i took out uh, like it was very seldom like i drew something out of my imagination or um, i did something out of my own mind so inktober broke that barrier so there are many things where i did not use any reference and i just drew what came from my mind for example this one this one and um, then this one in these like not like no references were used okay like i simply drew how i felt okay like whatever i wanted and some references like for example these hands what i did is like finding hands in exactly holding a paper in this angle is very difficult and it's difficult to imagine so what i did is i asked my mom to just hold a paper like this and i clicked a pic of that like the perfect angle that i want to do over here and then i just saw that photograph and i just sketched it out like since i am comfortable with doing reference uh, work so i made my own reference like the ideas came from my mind and then i created my own reference images so that's how i did it and this is something that inktober taught me and yeah this background oh god i will miss doing this background i just love this one so much so yeah that's it i let's see next year maybe i'll use better quality paper now that i know how to tackle inktober so next year i hope to use a proper sketchbook for my inktober series and i'm going to strictly I don't know if I'll be able to do that but I'll try to strictly stick with inks maybe I'll buy some colored inks so guys if you know a good brand of colored inks that are available through Amazon in India please let me know in the comment section so and uh, I would really love to know like if any one of you ever like participated in Inktober how you tackled it like I would like to know your experiences and if you ever did your um, like if this year you participated that also I would really love to know so thank you guys for watching my video and please uh, hit a like and hit the subscribe button so yeah i'm not very active on youtube but i will try to be active more now on youtube as well and till then do follow me on instagram i'll um, link in the description box my instagram handle so yeah guys please do subscribe please do like and please go on supporting me thank you all